I'm excited for this one, how to use ChatGPT and other AI tools to create new unique phrases for shine on or other print on demand jewelry types. So how are we going to use ChatGPT to create new phrases? One of the things I really, really dislike is copying pixel for pixel and not putting any thought or effort into creating your own designs and phrases. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I think ChatGPT is going to come into a world of its own for creating these phrases. So one thing I struggle with is when I read something, how the hell do I rephrase this in a way that's going to make sense? So that's where ChatGPT really does come into its own. So firstly, with Mother's Day coming up and whether you're doing Valentine's Day or Q4 and selling to anyone, you need a place to reference, right? So I'm going to Etsy here. And I've just typed in Mother's Day necklace. And what we're looking for is just a phrase, read through them and look for ones that connect with you. If they connect with you, chances are there's something in it. You'll know straight away if it sounds clunky or if there's something just not right about it. So go through them, read them. This is where the money is made, spending the time doing the research. So coming through here, I found one that I thought was really cool and was going to give us a good base to test ChatGPT to create some new phrases. So this one here, thank you mum for everything. Through the years you have given me so much. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take that phrase and now I'm going to put it over in ChatGPT. So what I'm going to do is just going to ask it to rewrite that phrase. Over the years you've bestowed upon me an abundance of gifts. So straight away, looking at that, it's, it's too long. So I want to make it a bit more succinct uh, and hit those points harder. So what I'm going to do is ask it to create three shorter variations. And if you don't like them, hit regenerate. So here we've got something that I think is better finally. And sometimes it does take some extra time. All we're trying to do is unlock that, that creative juice in our own mind so we can use that in our own designs. So finally, we have something that we can work with here. So I'm so grateful for all you've given me over the years. Advice when I needed wisdom, encouragement when I needed motivation, and understanding when I needed a friend. Your love has been a constant in my life and I'm blessed to have such a wonderful mum. It sounds really good. So I just want to check to make sure that's not too close to that original. I'm so grateful. Yep, cool. You gave me advice when I needed your wisdom. Advice when I needed your wisdom. Yep, encouragement. So it's really just um, chunking it down, which is what I like to see, removing any unnecessary words. It's going to sound much better. It's going to be less to read. And that's one thing as well we've got to be mindful of is people's attention spans. Um, we need to guide our audience through a journey when they're reading these pieces. We really need each line to build into the next one. So with this, I'm going to take this one here without doing too much work to it, but you should. So firstly, I'm over in Canva. I've created my canvas, so it's a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, and it's very wise to put in this margin template or whatever you want to call it from shine on because when you do this you can really work to the edges of the design area so the safe area for your text which is incredibly important you don't want text lying in the outside there and getting cut off in your design so all this that i'm teaching you forms part of the design domination that i teach in the pod hacks program so knowing what elements sell these pieces really helps to allow you to use chat gpt in a way that is incredibly powerful and then use the design fundamentals when you're actually creating these phrases. So, okay, over here to my mother. Let's put mother in there. I'm gonna copy and paste it into here. I'm so grateful for all you've given me over the years. Advice when I needed wisdom, encouragement when I needed motivation. All right, close.
to my best friend and mother, to my mother and best friend. Just think of another way we could intro that. I'm so grateful for all you've given me over the years. Advice when I needed wisdom, encouragement when I needed motivation, understanding when I needed a friend. Your love has been a constant in my life and I'm blessed to have such a wonderful mum like you. I just think that rounds it out nicely. I'm so grateful. Let's bold that up. Advice when I needed wisdom, encouragement when I needed motivation. Woo. Understanding when I needed a friend. Love. Blessed. Wonderful. All right, so we want to make sure these fall in the right spot. So these, the, the lines are put in here, the rulers are right to the edge of that green area. So we're getting the maximum amount of space to write on our cards. And that will be the safe area. What do we want to sign off down here? To my mother, I'm so grateful for all you've given me over the years. Advice when I needed wisdom, encouragement when I needed motivation, and understanding when I needed a friend. Your love has been a constant in my life, and I'm blessed to have such a wonderful mum like you. That sounds fantastic. Much better than the, the original, I feel. Uh, and it's a great starting point to, to really start testing our phrases and see how they sit how the data comes back to us. What is it telling us? Do we need to add something to it, take something out of it, play around with it? Um, so down here, I would probably just move love from your daughter. Is that how you spell it? I hope so. All right. So this is how I'm effectively using ChatGPT to create new phrases. Not all of them are going to be fantastic. And it's just like when you're doing your research, not every piece you find makes sense. But through doing this process, you are going to unlock some gold. And it gives you a great starting point using other people's success as a starting point, not for something to copy verbatim. That is not what you're needing to do. You want to create a business that's sustainable and copying isn't the way to do that. No matter what other coaches and whatever say, you have to be able to create unique pieces that haven't been seen before. So if you'd like to create a $10,000 plus per month print on demand business, make sure you check out podhacks.co where you can work with me personally. I guide you through the process. I give you the step-by-step -step curriculum, the course, to understand how to choose niches, what to look for when you're doing your research, how to run your ads, how to design to make your pieces pop out in the places that you're selling. So make sure you check it out, it's podhacks.co. Very limited people can get in because I speak with everyone on the discovery call. So if you would like to join, make sure you check out podhacks.co now. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this. Cheers.